How's it going, Buzzer? Buzzer Jr. here, and today I am proud to bring you my very first scripted video for the channel. So I hope you guys do enjoy. And without further ado, let's get right into it. 23 reasons to be excited for Spider-Man PS4. Number one, Yuri Lowenthal plays Spider-Man slash Peter Parker. He worked on Sunset Overdrive, voicing his main character in Ben 10 as a teenage Ben Tennyson, and even in the Prince of Persia game as the Prince. So Lowenthal has a strong history of voice acting. Number 2. Gameplay seems incredibly quick, just how it should be. From web swinging to wall running, the pace of the game seems fluid and fast paced. Spider-Man is known for his great speed and flexibility. This game brings out Spider-Man's physicality to its fullest. Number 3. Physics in the game. The way this was made possible was because of multiple momentum based physics. In recent web swinging demonstrations, they showed off Spider-Man's abilities to use momentum to traverse around, over, and even through buildings. Number 4. Incredible graphics. Graphics that were criticized by many people to be downgrading since its initial E3 debut actually seem to have improved since. Fans have hailed the recent gameplay videos and everyone can now agree that Spider-Man looks better than ever. Number 5. Apart from just the graphical improvement, the game has been confirmed to be upscaled to 4K for the Pro, but not through checkerboarding, but instead through Insomniac's personal temporal injection. This sneak was used in Ratchet & Clank through a patch for not just the PS4 Pro, but to improve the base PS4's graphics as well, even in 1080p. Number 6. This is Miles Morales' first ever appearance on a big time Spider-Man game. His story is not yet known, but what is known is that he plays an important role in the game's story. I'm interested to find out how this plays out. Number 7. There will be over 20 costumes in the game. From the 30 Spider-Man noir to today's new Spider-Man, we have many alternate costumes to look forward to. With 4 costumes already revealed, we're all hoping to see our favorites in the game later on. Number 8. The costumes also have their own attributes. Costumes won't just appear in your inventory, you're going to have to do missions and side quests to collect materials to be able to craft your desired costume. After you make one, it will come with its own strengths and weaknesses. This can directly be compared to Aloy's armor from Horizon Zero Dawn. Number 9. There's a skill tree implemented in the game. With these skills, you can upgrade basic things like web swing and speed or even get the ability to redirect rockets. This could also mean Spider-Man is backed into a corner for the first time in years, now requiring him to learn new abilities in the story. Number 10. The story won't end after the campaign. The game already has three chapters confirmed to be released later on, and when asked about post-game DLC, creative director Brian Innerhart confirmed it with a straight up yes. Number 11. No microtransactions. No buyable points, coins, or loot boxes. When asked about this, Brian responded with a direct, Hell no. Number 12. No Uncle Ben origin story. Is there going to be an Uncle Ben scene? Hell no. Number 13. The map is several times larger than Sunset Overdrive's world. Not only did they confirm Spider-Man's world would be 4-6 to six times larger, it could be even bigger when looked at it sideways. Sunset Overdrive strategically focused its map design to be a vertical giant, meaning if Insomniac follows its own style, New York could be incredibly large in all directions. Number 14. The game takes place over a few weeks. Brian Innerhart confirmed that the game takes place over just a few weeks, meaning this could be a long game depending on how the story progresses. We could perhaps see Peter's entire life fall apart quickly or even see Spider-Man fail and watch the city fall to evil before his own eyes, all in a matter of weeks. Number 15. Spider-Man is more experienced than ever. At 23 years old, this Peter has worn the mask for at least 8 years. By the time we grab the controller, he has saved New York countless times. With this experience, he has perfected his style of combat and learned much more about his nemesis. Number 16. New tech. Through the years, he has updated his arsenal as expected. The new Spidey gadgets include some things we've seen before, like his new mechanical eyes, his web shooters concealed as wristbands, and even his new spider drone. The wall crawler isn't the only hero in the world. Spider-Man takes inspiration from the older Spider-Man games and brings in other heroes. We might not get the chance to see them or fight alongside them, but with places like the Sanctum Sanctorum, the Avengers Tower, and the Wakandan Embassy, they're sure to be mentioned somehow. Number 18. MJ plays a big part in this game. Unlike other Spider-Man games, this Mary Jane is not a damsel in distress. She has been confirmed to be playable and Brian and her mentioned that she would surprise us all. Number 19. More than one villain. Mr. Negative plays a huge role in the game, but he's not the only real bad guy. We know for sure whose butts we're going to be kicking. With a lineup confirmed to Mr. Negative, the Kingpin, Norman Osborn, and the Shocker, one can only wonder who else could be in the game. I'm looking forward to seeing Dr. Octopus and Venom in the game as well. Number 20. New York is an important character. Okay, not literally, but when talking about the city, Insomniac says that New York can be as interactive as the character itself. From its amazing buildings to the people nearby, New York feels alive in the game. You can even stop by and high-five, do gestures, or take a selfie with someone. Let's not forget Spider-Man can even play basketball in this game. Number 21. A game made by fans. This is finally a Spider-Man game for the Spider-Man fans, by Spider-Man fans. Many of the people working on the game have admitted their fandom for the hero. 
These people are a part of the same group of fans that have not enjoyed the past few Spider-Man games, so they seem like the ones who bring justice to the name. Number 22, Insomniac chose Spider-Man. To provide more evidence that the workers of this game love Spidey, they chose it above any other superhero game to work on. Sony came to them with multiple characters to choose from, and they chose the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. This game wasn't forced onto Insomniac, they take great pride in being able to work on it. Finally, number 23. The final reason why you should be excited for Spider-Man PS4 is that Peter Parker is in Spider-Man. Sure, the man under the mask is Peter, but his life is the complete opposite of Spider-Man's. Spider-Man is the Joker that isn't afraid of anything. Peter's still a young man dealing with life while barely balancing everything out. This game introduces a complete collision between Peter's life and Spider-Man's. Kinda like the amazing film from 2004, Spider-Man 2, this Spider-Man might have to make some choices that affects both his superhero life and his personal life. And so, this ends my 23 reasons to be excited for Spider-Man PS4. Available this September 7th, the game is still some months away, but fans cannot get enough of the hero. Hopefully we get bigger announcements. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, leave a like to show your support. If you didn't like something about the video, go ahead and leave a comment to help me fix it for the next time. Also, go ahead and subscribe for more content like this. Have a great day and goodbye. Peace out, guys.